So at McKnight Consulting Group, we provide the vision, the architecture, and the tools, and we engineer the organization to enable the full use of information. We then execute the strategies to help make information into an advantage for our customers. This includes the domains of data warehousing, business intelligence, big data, data quality, and the like. Well, a lot of what we used to do in the data warehouse is now going back into the operational world. So you think about master data management, that's operational. You think about stream processing. There's so much that's being pulled back into this domain of operational business intelligence because we need to get at that information so much quicker. There's also a lot of new vessels that we can utilize in the analytical world to collect information wherever it's proper for the workloads that's going to be placed upon the data. So you have columnar databases, which is structuring that data differently. You also have this whole new world of big data, which is emerging very strongly now. So there's a lot of places to put data. And so as you have all these pockets of data now, once again, throughout your enterprise, you need to thread them together and have that enterprise view as well. Well, data virtualization fits in in a couple of different ways. I just talked about how you're going to have an effective architecture of information. That includes data everywhere, once again. And so there may be one-off queries that you want to execute across different technology domains, and data virtualization is great for that. And there also may be queries that you want to put right into your business processes on a permanent basis because you have data in different places because it's the most appropriate place for most of the workload, but not all of the workload. And so some of that workload can be handled through data virtualization. I view it as essential in any enterprise that's really strongly t understanding the high value of information. And in doing that, they're putting information in different vessels that's appropriate for the information, yet they still need to have an inter enterprise view. Take a look at what the uh, new opportunities are for information out there today. And there are so many that have emerged in the past five years. And it's all because information is a strong asset to a lot of companies. So be confident that information is very important to your business. You're caretaking a very important asset to your business. But you still have to move that information into the right vessel for the workload. So I would say look at the possibilities, spread data into where it's going to perform best for the enterprise and give the enterprise the most value for its data. And then keep that enterprise view across the a whole architecture.